if I join? Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, I finally am able to play an incredible game that was shadow dropped in January of 2023 with Hi-Fi Rush. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. With a look at the Xbox and Bethesda showcase in upcoming games, we had a look at their new game that isn't related to horror by Tango Gameworks that was also released the same day on the showcase with Hi-Fi Rush. This where the action game combines musical beats with action gameplay elements that really creates an original game, nothing that I have ever played before, and yet it's eerie similar in ways where you can just jump in and not worry about it. Hi-Fi Rush was developed by Tango Gameworks and released by Bethesda Softworks in 2023 for Windows PC, Steam, and the Xbox Series X and S. This rhythm game also has licensed music from bands like The Black Keys and Nine Inch Nails, along with their own original soundtrack as you progress through the game. The story revolves around main protagonist, Chai whose music player is accidentally embedded into his chest while conducting cybernetic surgery for his arm. Giving him a new sense of rhythm, he is labeled as a defect and is hunted by the corporation that transformed him, during which he meets friends along the way with Peppermint, Macaron, and others who discover a plot within the company of Spectra. The story is told with animation along with 3D cell shaded cutscenes that capture the mood and feel of the game perfectly. The voice actors do an incredible job here as well with the storytelling. The writing here is fun and entertaining and is a high point of the game with its already incredible style. It looks like a high quality animated TV show already even without the action portion is how well done this all comes together. A private elevator. Left us running a bit late. I'm sure they'll be here. Huh. The gameplay here is extremely solid in taking throwback action like Devil May Cry with its moveset and combo system and integrating it with this rhythm action game where hitting on the beat will increase extra damage and combos. Although the action is a huge portion of the gameplay, there is a lot of platforming elements to mix things up as well. You never feel where you're constantly doing one thing over and over again. Ready for this? Being able to use your friends and allies who can jump in and assist you in platforming and the action is a welcome addition in mixing things up as well as getting another option in combat. At times it does become cumbersome when you are doing multiple combos and calling your friends in in the beginning, but after a while you do get the hang of it especially with more challenging enemies and bosses. The 
the bosses here are incredibly fun with their own personality. Each fight was its own journey and was a blast to play through each and every one of them. It was incredible how the developers put them together, especially with musical beats throughout the game. Admit it. You're enjoying this. You cocky loser! The visuals here are very, very special to behold. Running at a silky smooth 60 frames per second, I have never seen such a crisp and beautiful use of cell shaded graphics that look this good. I know cell shading has been around, but the way that developers have de designed this game makes for one of the most visually impressive games I've seen in a while. Just watching the environments groove with the beat really brings this world truly alive. The one and only con that I had while playing this game was there were many times where I was offbeat where I couldn't progress through the game. I did get frustrated immensely at times, but the overall feeling of getting that beat down was rewarding after memorizing it after the 10th time. I just wish that my beats were more on par here, but really didn't take away from the overall joy. Overall, what a surprise game in 2023. From the visuals, sound, story, combat, and just about everything here sums up one of the best action platformers I have ever played in quite some time. This game just screams quality from beginning to end. Hi-Fi Rush gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its fantastic presentation, visual design, absolutely well acted and fun characters, and of course its combat made me fall in love with Tango Gameworks. That's it for this look at Surprise Hit Hi-Fi Rush. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos, be pro out and great. Take us out of here, and I'll see you all next upload. If it comes to that, I'll take care of it. Now, might I suggest pushing plans forward? After I get a coffee, we shut down the cafe. When I said close the campus down, I didn't mean the cafe! You say close down everything. But not coffee, Rogue, for not coffee. You always need coffee for things like this. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.